I don't think anybody's gonna call me, but this thing likes to make noises for any time anything happens ever. <laughs> oh, your battery went down 1%. You should be aware. I should be aware. You should. I mean, that's stuff you get in. I mean, what if, like, later tonight you were like, oh, I thought I had one bar left on my battery. Now I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna die because I can't call anybody. And know. then uh, my <laughs> my fucking neighbor stopped me outside. I'm not gonna name names because I don't know his name. But they <laughs> but he gotcha. stopped me out. He lives above me, and he's like, "Well, he's got a couple kids." And he's like, "We're not too loud for you, are we?" And I'm like, "Nope." And he's like, "Well, I would sure hate if people were in this were loud." <laughs> he's like staring at me. I'm like, dude, I will beat you. <laughs> Are you being loud? First off, we're in this neighborhood. The cops aren't showing up. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Don't start a fight, man. Exactly. Mm. All right. That was good. Say something. Say something. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, do something. We are so fucked. So, <laughs> welcome to the new show. That's where we're going to insert like a bit about us <laughs> in like a control room That's telling them to talk or yeah, something. There we go. And three, <laughs> two. You're fucking blowing it down! <laughs> welcome um, to Dirt. Dirt. D U R N K E D T. <laughs> Do you like the T on I the like end or should just be E D? Maybe we should just add a T. I mean, we'd have to change the logo and everything. Dirt? Would that be too? Do we have a logo? We do. Not for Dirt specifically, but or just I'll do what I generally do and do just like a paint in. <laughs> <laughs> like just like dirt. fucking MS Paint. There's a T. <laughs> this is the I like show. The this That's is the show tea. in which Chad and I are just going to sit here and bullshit for the next x amount of time yeah we'll see what happens hey. <laughs> this was like i don't know how we haven't done something like this earlier because this sounds like the either the easiest or hardest show that we're gonna right do. this will either be incredibly successful yeah or it will fail miserably i think we'll do it regardless just because we'll want to do this yeah it's probably true just get together talk about shit from the week from by bi-weekly yeah you know catch up as they say does bi-weekly fuck everyone <laughs> just, a, just a week that doesn't care who yeah, it's sleeping with. Exactly. <laughs> so how's your week been going, Chad? How are you? Um, I've been playing Dragon Age Origins. I did a, I did a sket, little sketch. We did a little sketch about it. Yep. A little sketch about it. Um, a couple weeks ago, was it? A couple weeks ago. But yeah, I've, been a couple weeks I've been playing that game pretty much nonstop since I got it, probably three or four weeks ago. <laughs> uh, the, the, it's deceptive because it does like a in-game timer of how long you've been playing on your save files. That's super deceptive because I'll just leave my Xbox on occasionally. Yeah, yeah. Walk away, <laughs> so, come back. So like it says like 120 hours or something like that on my current character. I'm like I have not been playing. For <laughs> I just just leave it there for mm -hmm. long periods of time. But. Um, that game is incredible. I'm on my second playthrough, this time on hard, and I should have been playing, I should have done this character on like the hardest difficulty or whatever, because I accidentally found the character that cannot die regardless <laughs> of scenario. All right. But it's, it's, wow. a, it's a mage character, right? So spells and stuff. Right. So you're right. really squishy for like most of the game. But then there's this thing that every, every character, regardless of class, does halfway through the game where they're like, oh, you're going to pick, there's these three prestige people that are going to show up and teach you one of their things. So you uh -huh. go on this quest to learn like a new, yeah. new, yeah. a new thing. Yeah. Right, right. And I just uh -huh. happen yeah. to pick this so thing called Night Enchanter. Yeah. And it's basically, it yeah. uses your magic, yeah. and it gives you a magic yeah. sword, so you wow. become a melee Wait, yeah. character. But wow. it uses your magic wow. as opposed to, yeah. like, your strength stat. Oh. So, so, and it does two things. It gives you the sword to hit things, the magic sword to hit things, and then it gives you, like, barriers that come up to protect you, like, armor. Like, since you don't have good armor as a mage, it gives you, like, barriers that... But the barriers in the game are kind of broken in that... <sighs> This is fucking boring as shit that I'm just saying right here. <laughs> you lost half the audience. The other half, they're gamers, so keep going. The other half is me. Yeah. Um, no, it's 
But the barrier works like it goes down slowly, and except when you take damage, then it takes a chunk out of that, as opposed to your health. Okay. But uh, every time you deal damage, it adds to the barrier. So as long as I keep swinging, I can never actually be killed by anything in the game. <laughs> so you're saying that was an oversight from the game design? Oh, absolutely. Like, I got in a fight with... I got in an under-leveled fight with my... You, you, carry, you take three people with you out into the field, and the, they, you know, you mix and match, depending on how, what you right, want right, them what to you do. Want to do right. yeah, yeah. And so I, t I take these three people out in the world, and we got in this fight with this dragon and all of his little minions, right? And the little minions, like, you can fight them and kill them pretty easily, but while you're doing that, you're ignoring the dragon... And he's probably getting giving himself armor or something right, like right, that. Yeah, so you have to things. you have to ignore the little minions and just fight him. But doing that, they just come up and bite you in the fucking taint occasionally. So my entire team's dead within like five minutes, right? <laughs> and the next twenty five minutes is me fighting it by myself because I can't be killed. <laughs> but I'm not doing enough damage to actually kill Killing. the thing. Yep. Yep. So it's just, I'm stuck here now in this continuous loop. Eventually, they do kill me off. It was like, I mean, it took like six of the little guys <laughs> yeah. and the dragon to finally kill my tiny ass, skinny ass elf mage off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But. F <laughs> it, I, yeah. So you couldn't run away? I mean, in this like. I could. No, uh, no I think you cl this particular one, it's like in this like cave and it locks the it, door okay, or whatever. Yeah, so you're fucked. You go in there, you either kill shit. You either or kill it or you die. And I actually almost did kill, kill, or be kill it. Killed. I actually almost did kill it. It took, what, fucking half an hour to <laughs> almost kill it and then it killed me. But yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I'm enjoying that game a lot. Obviously. Obviously. Um, on a similar yet completely unrelated topic. Okay, um, good. Topic, <laughs> my wife stayed up all night long playing Angry Birds the other night. She had just discovered Angry Birds. Angry okay. Birds? So I, it, it's similar I like in the game. sense that Mike stays up till all hours. I do not. Playing like video games where people fight. Midnight, you know, one o'clock. That's generally. Yeah, okay, so not all night. It's like four, five in the morning. Unless my insomnia kicks okay, in and well, then I'm never. Well, yes, my, my wife became addicted very temporarily, but for a very long stretch of time to Angry Birds. And, that, and it's not that that's a bad thing. It's like, great, Henny, great, have a good time. It's Angry Birds, have a good time. It's, it's a great game. To but I just, I got to just sit there and watch her play Angry Birds, okay? And that wasn't so much fun. No. <laughs> that was not a, not like, there's some games that are fantastic for, as a spectator. Mm. Like, League of Legends, that's part of why it's so good, because it's fun to watch as well as play. <laughs> Starcraft can also be fun to watch as well as play. I, I suppose that's possible. Um, I, I, can, I can see Dragon Age sort of being fun to watch, as, as, sometimes anyway, watch as well as play, except for like the 20 minutes yeah. when I'm in my main camp just wandering around <laughs> talking right. to people. But. When it becomes sort of a cinematic action adventure, sure, that could be kind of fun, especially when somebody's... Harry like, Burns is it? not that. But It's like, uh, words, no. do I go up like, this far, or do I go up this far, exactly. it's like, mm. or this far, well, or she, that far? She, ah, I fucked it up. Restart. <laughs> do I go up this yeah, far? That's exactly what it's like. And, 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 and to her credit, she did attempt to you know, engage me in the process of playing this game. Like, she hey, you. honey, where should I hit the barrier thing this time? You know, <laughs> she was just being nice, but I appreciated it. All, honestly, though... I could have done without, you know, four hours. The patronizing. Of... <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we, you know, she wanted to spend time. It was obvious, but yeah, I just eventually went to bed. 
So I'm going to get you into video games. <laughs> I'm going to find the video game that you play. It's not that I haven't played games. I there there were. What was the last some, video game that you really honestly, cracked the, out on? The last one that I there there were. We'll say two. This isn't like a ColecoVision story, by the way. Is no, it? no. <laughs> um, there were there. Um, what was it? Uh, oh, Oni. O N I. Oni. Oni. I thought that was fun. That was on the PlayStation original, I believe, wasn't it? I believe so. I played it on on PC. What was uh, what was Oni? There me, was the. Remind me. It was like the robot girl, whatever, going and going through all these stages and kicking ass. It was. Um, I don't know all the lingo, so. So you were just bear with really me. big into hentai at the time. Is that what you're me? <laughs> she was kind of hot. <laughs> but um, so yeah, she goes and she you know beats people up. And there's game, there's puzzles, and there's Kaylin and they're sneaking, and it was it was okay. It reminded me of like the first generation Metal Metal Gear Solid, which I was kind of a fan of. You could hide in a box and no one would see you for ago. some reason. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you could be like, <laughs> and it would. Just <laughs> Um, that's, and, a, that's a sketch. And, <laughs> I think that is, yeah. and the other game was probably any one of those civilization style building games, whether it was those Civilization or Age of Empires. Or, Did I, you ever play uh, Black and White? Because that was an old one that I got into. Black and White. It was, it was that style of game, but like it was religion based because you were a god. And you were a god. You were literally I a god. I know exactly what you're talking about. And you about got now. to summon giant god mm -hmm. monsters to attack yeah. the other peoples. I do. I do remember seeing that game, going, "Oh, that looks fascinating." I never played it. I bought this sequel, the Black and White Two, in like 2000 something, whenever yeah, it came forever out. Forever ago. And then found out my computer couldn't run it. Oh. And so I'm like, "Oh, it's okay. I'll, upgrade, I'll keep it. I'll upgrade my computer." I just found it still in its wrapping. Like. Wow. <laughs> like a couple now of it's old ago. enough you can't play it on the new computer. Nah, it won't work anymore. It, just, it won't work anymore. It was like this fine, this moment where you could have played that game, and now you can't. My buddy Albert, who's been on some previous Dirk Industry stuff, um, he he gave me the old Fable. Uh, no, the uh, no, not mm. Fable series. The uh, fuck Fallout series back in the. Do you remember Fallout series? I do remember Fallout. I didn't play Fallout. It started. It started way back in the day. Um, and he basically gave me this anthology that was Fallout One and Two, and like some other little add-ons to it. But I literally cannot find the drivers to get it to work on my computer because my <laughs> computer's too new yep, or whatever. Yep. Exactly. That's the the. The curse of PC gaming, either you don't have enough or you have too much. Yeah. Did you ever, you probably never seen that. Did you ever see the old uh, Cryoc engine? The, the game called Crisis, but the engine I think was called. Ooh, yeah, no Crisis. That was, for, it was from like probably five, six years ago when it first happened. Okay. But it was so powerful that like you had to own like a ten thousand dollar PC or something like that to write it on, and they just put this game out, assuming like some people would figure it out, <laughs> so they could sell more computer components. Yeah, they worked bigger, faster, stronger. They worked for Dell. <laughs> I don't think there was ever a Dell that could have played that game. Okay, so we're doing a thing this weekend. Let's talk about the thing we're doing. Yeah, well, you know, because I don't need you're basically here's what's happened. You're doing like a professional thing. And you're dragging me along for God knows what reason. Yeah. I have a day job where I make stuff for other people. Yes. Commercials, um, training videos, yes. web videos. We're doing Pornos. a thing. And that'd be... Why can't we get into that, porn? That'd, that'd be more of like a cool evening. At job. least we could make money if well, we yeah, got I mean, into porn. Just, are we famous yet? This is, yeah, you make a total, totally good point. Pornography, I mean, it doesn't matter how saturated the market is, there's still money. Have you ever porn. met Have you ever met Melissa Midwest? Uh, no, but I, I met the dude who wrangled her. Wrangled? Yeah, the dude who actually... Married her? Owned her brand. Oh, really? Yeah, he... Um, he there was a guy who owned her <laughs> brand? This is a porn guy, like a local sort of porn dude that has what? all of these... Gr that, that really kind of manages all of these... They say, these we're talking about local porn, like, right? local porn actors, by the, which is weird that Lincoln, Nebraska has, has local porn, porn actors. That blew my mind away when, like, when I was like, <laughs> right? younger and found out this. But yeah, this I used to... I'm bringing up bad memories here. I used to work for a local computer service company. You did? Ago. What? Yeah. Did you do like tech stuff or? Yeah, it's fucking awful. 
It was one of the worst jobs I've ever had. But this dude, bre- well, actually, one of his minions, this little this little kid, probably couldn't have been more than like 19 years old, college student, comes in with this computer, he's, and he's like, there's some stuff on this computer. Don't be, like, alarmed or call police or anything. Gaping in. But <laughs> Keep going. I'm so, just, tell your story. It, yeah, it, I mean, so we fixed, and, and obviously the dude's, like, looking at other porn sites and stuff like that. Exactly. So, I mean, it's just littered with, like, horrible adware and malware and spyware and grossness <laughs> and stuff like that. So we clean it up. But there's all of this porn, you know, on this laptop and kind of got to peruse... How sticky, uh, was, you know. how sticky was this home row, by the way? <laughs> Here's the thing, you guys. If you got shit on your computer system and you take it to pl- someplace to, 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 be ser- to be serviced, somebody's going to look at it. You can't just like expect them not to look at your shit. Secondly, people, the average like IT professional has seen way worse. So don't even. Yeah, worry. <laughs> but it's it's not unlike you know when you used to take film and remember this time we used to take pictures and it was on film, right? Nope. You had to take it someplace and it had to be developed. <laughs> you take pictures. Somebody has to develop that stuff. People saw what you were taking pictures of. All of the gross, nasty shit that you did that you thought was private. Somebody saw it. It's no different now when you take your computer. I've never been in that situation. I've legitimately never been in that situation. Because my, my dad has always owned a newspaper. Yeah, yeah. So I've known how to use like darkroom stuff since I was a little kid. So I've, even when we had film cameras, I legitimately just never went to anybody. You didn't have to take it anywhere. You I, just I never, went in and I just went and did it. Yourself? I nice. just did it. That, nice. I, if you, if I, somebody asked me to do it now, I'd probably fuck it up yeah, really bad. Well, I, I, yeah, I used to do it too. And I, I, there is no way I could walk into a dark room now and know what any, whatever, what, anything that's going Chemicals on. Chemicals used to give it. me a headache too. Yeah. But just be aware. It's probably what's I mean, wrong with me now. If, there, if there's stuff you don't want people to see. Thanks, Dad. Put it on something else. Put it on a flash drive and don't lose it. That's, you know. Mm-hmm. Words of wisdom from a computer tech guy. That's fucking boring. What's the worst job you've ever had? Worst job I've ever had, man. That's worst crazy. job I've ever had was I worked on a hog farm for one summer. That would be pretty bad. And I, I was the I was the new guy, so I'd like have to. And I didn't even work there the whole summer. It was just like a few weeks, but like I had to go down in the poop pits mm-hmm. with the power oh. sprayer and the hazmat suit and clean and That's like fucking horrible, spray dude. that down. I, like to this day, I'll, I like have sh- severe animosity towards like pigs in general. Like everyone's like, they're so smart. Yeah, they're so smart. They eat their young, and if one of them breaks a leg in the pen, they're gonna eat that one well, too, they, alive. They give them the opportunity to go feral. They will in like two and a half minutes. It's fucking t- pigs are yeah, hardcore man. Totally, they're assholes. Totally, they're pieces of shit. See, I get much joy from eating bacon. Well, who doesn't really? And much heart disease. We can taste good. <laughs> um, my worst jobs, you know, I got to be honest, as far as the work itself, I've never had a job that was just fucking horrible. I mean, the closest I got was like three and a half hours training at um, one of those telemarketing places. I mean, I, was, I worked the, from the, the job itself. I just couldn't do that stuff. That was horrible. For me, mostly it's like this internal, this, this blows fucking ass. I hate this kind of shit. Why am I here? Yeah. And that would have been this place I worked, this computer place I worked at, and probably... What was so bad about it? For the greater half of uh, when I worked at an office supply store. And, and that's just it. It wasn't the work itself that was so bad. It was that I did not want to fucking be there. Um, people, first of all, I hate them. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I hate people. Just people in general. People, you know, jobs in <laughs> itself would jobs wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the fucking people you got to serve. <laughs> Jesus, think about that when next time you go anywhere into a, into a fucking restaurant. Yeah, the average, the average place, person serve. doesn't give a shit. The average I person mean, doesn't give a shit. There, these are human beings trying to help you, doing the best thing. Oh can. my god, fucking jobs suck. Leave them alone. Quit being such fucking assholes okay. about everything. God, I should tell a story about when I was on the cruise then. Oh. Yeah. All the fucking people. Okay, so Andrew and I, we are not finishing a single topic we start, by the way. That's okay, stream of consciousness. Stream of consciousness. It's all good. So, Andrew and I, for our honeymoon, like seven or eight months after our wedding, <laughs> this past <laughs> November, we went on a cruise because Andrea loves cruises and I get seasick and I'm the husband, so my opinion doesn't matter. But the. <laughs> <laughs> sure. 
Yeah, you learn quick. Yeah, I'm proud yeah, of you. Yeah, proud of you. Yeah. We're changing. We're changing the name of the show to Two Bitter Husbands. <laughs>'clucking chickens. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> just lost all the female audience right there. It's gone. <laughs> they didn't exist yeah, in the well, first place. Sure. They there's no audience. <laughs> no, but we were on the cruise, and I have never seen entitlement like I have seen on that oh, thing. Man. First off, we were on Carnival, and it's the cheapest of any of the cruise lines, right? Obviously aimed at people between the ages of like 23 and 35, because. Everything to do on that boat has to deal with gambling, drinking, and dancing. <laughs> mm -hmm. And not like, not like da ballroom dancing either. It's like the club starts and DJ, whack yourself into nuts, comes on the stage and just fucking <laughs> spins the hot T-Swift beats for the yeah. next three hours. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's just <laughs> super weird looking white girls, booty shaking. <laughs> um, the... <laughs> but... And most of the people who work on those ships, if you've never been on a cruise, and this is the second cruise I've ever been on, um, uh, the most of the people who work on those ships are international uh, people uh, from all over the world, actually, all over the place. Uh, my favorite bartenders on this cruise were one was from Romania and the other one was from Yugoslavia or something like that. Um, and uh, most there's a bunch of uh, Indonesian people and yeah, like just they all over the damn world. Um, and they get this job, it keeps them away from their families, but it pays a shitload that they get to send home. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm sure more, than, more than any gig they could have got at home. Yeah, sure. yeah, right. yeah. It, it pays, a, like a bartender, the female bartender, um, her and her husband both work on that, but she has a daughter back home that she only gets to see like three months out of the year. Mm -hmm. um, but they do that because mm -hmm. she's like in couple of years I'm going to be able to pay for her to go to college right. forever wow. <laughs> for, <laughs> like they just like well I'm not going to see my daughter for the next six or seven years mm -hmm. but we will never she will never want for anything right, after this. Right. it's a it's a decision mm -hmm. but these people fucking work right they're up at like seven in the morning like they're working like eight to 12 hour shifts every single day, seven days a week. They get literally, I asked them about this, they get one day off every two weeks. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just work, work, work. And the people, the fucking people on the boat, they're paying the cheapest of any of the cruises and are so fucking, there was a guy who we, we were on this, like we were at one of the salad bars, big buffet style, most of the dining there. And there's like, it's one of like four salad bars on this main buffet thing. And at this one particular salad bar, they didn't have tomatoes. They didn't have tomatoes. They had them at like two of the other salad bars, but they didn't have tomatoes at this one particular salad bar. And go. he's fucking screaming at this like Asian dude, just fucking screaming at this guy. <laughs> about that why can't they don't they have tomatoes can't you go get tomatoes and the guy's like i there's tomatoes over there i can't leave i have to this i my work here i refilled this one <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. i have I, I i ended up yelling at the guy good yeah fuck i hate when that, yeah. i ended up yelling at that guy but just because he was towards the end of the week and i was it was there was just it was just another one because there was another guy who yelled like yelled at a, a guy uh, mopping the deck during the movies because they cut in for like 30 seconds of audio on the movie to give an emerg uh, like uh, a necessary emergency thing over the loudspeaker. So they cut off 30 seconds of audio in the movie. So he's like screaming at this guy mopping the deck. I'm like, first off, look at right. him. He's clearly right. not in charge of this movie or That's the audio system. That's not the guy that can That's help not you the dude. Thing. Oh my God. That's not the dude. He's bored. Mop. He's look. He's carrying a mop, looking bored out of his mind. Mm -hmm. You think he's in charge of shit? 
Right. Secondly, it, it was a fucking like notification, like emergency notification. They have to make sure legally that everyone on the boat can hear it. <laughs> it was just a like that would have been the single greatest vacation I've ever taken if it wasn't for people like that the yeah, entire time. I know. I know. It, it, yeah, people it was. Are fucking horrible. I hate people. Instant, yeah. Here's, this would be an instance. Fuck this. Like, Fuck you. We're right. entertainers. Fuck yourselves. <laughs> Every, come on. Yeah, it, it, it is super simple. It's about everybody sort of getting along, realizing that you're not the only one around, and just, you know, deal with shit, be compassionate with other people, have a little common courtesy. It's pretty simple. Okay, so this dude comes into to the computer store. <laughs> <laughs> comes in um, and he wants to pick up his computer. Now it's it's a Saturday. It's pretty busy for some reason. I don't know. People, you know, it's like I don't know why people decided they would come in and hang out with me while I'm trying to do my fucking job. Okay, so this guy walks in. He wants his computer. Now, his computer had been sitting on the completed shelf because there's a shelf where it's, here's where the stuff we need to do. Here's the stuff that's done, right? It's been sitting on the, on the side that, of stuff that's done for almost two years. Whoa! There's got to be a legend, like an in-shop legend about right? that I after mean, a while. It, I mean, it was there when I started working there. This computer was Whoa. in the, we're done. And, and I remember every week calling the number once to see if somebody would answer it. Nobody would answer the phone. So... And, and, and this is the crazy part. I remember, it was the week before. So was it like an occasion when he came in? Like It was, it, well, I'm getting to it. Let me, let me. <laughs> okay, sorry. So um, the week before my manager decides that, you know what? It's been here for almost two years. We're done. It's in our little <laughs> contract. It's no. in our contract. If it's here for so long and you don't come and get it, it becomes oh, the property of the no. store. I see and I warn out. him, I say, dude, you know the, you know the moment you do that, this guy's gonna show up, right? <laughs> Week later, the dude shows up. You know, he wouldn't have showed up on the days. day you were working if you hadn't given that warning. <laughs> like, that's how the that's fucking universe true. works. And, and was the manager on, no. on duty? That? No. I don't even, you don't even have to tell no. me. He's not there. Manager's not on duty. No. <laughs> That's not, that's how the universe works. <laughs> that's how the universe works. So, of course, I mean, you can guess what happened. This shit got crazy. Dude was threatening. You know, tried to come over the counter once at the dude I was working with. And, it, and this, the, the dude I was working with at the time, I mean, older dude. He'd been there for fucking ever. Um, he, was, he was there. He, was, he had given his notice. He was leaving. It was like one of his last shifts. I mean, it was just the was perfect, two days from retirement. Yeah, it was this perfect sort of storm of shit right on that day. And I just, and, and, and the, and I just remember telling the dude, I, said, I was like, listen, man, you know, first of all, I barely make over minimum wage fixing your fucking computer. I don't get paid to listen to your shit, all right? I called the manager. He's on his way. You want to wait and give him shit, that's what he gets paid for. <laughs> if you want to continue to give shit, I will call the cops and we can let them deal with this stuff, deal with this. He's like, all right, fine. Why don't you call the cops? I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was wait, an wait, odd wait, phone wait, number wait. that you. That was an well, odd you know, phone number. I, I had to. I, I had to keep the, the story. Nine one one seven three two. No. What? <laughs> you don't call nine one one for dumbasses yelling at you in a in a retail store. You I know you're supposed to call like a. Number. You're supposed to call a non emergency call the non emergency number. I have people. no idea what the fucking local. I don't know. You know, I just made shit up. You know. Number right there. <laughs> I was just like dialing number. I'm gonna cut in right here with me looking up at the number. <laughs> <laughs> so it, the, 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 the phone starts ringing, of course. He goes, Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's just back up a little bit. Eventually, the manager just showed up. And what, what was he to the manager? Super fucking nice. That's yeah. what he was. To the manager, he was super fucking nice. Not to me. You should have pulled out your Glock 9. You yeah, right. I totally would. That, I mean, if I, Glock, those, Glock. those are the moments that made me realize that on my bucket list, I needed to add kicking the shit out of a dumb fucker. <laughs>
<laughs> so that is now on my bucket list, by the way. So um, nice. Just saying. We could probably find you one. Oh, I'm, I have no doubt. I can just in my apartment complex. <laughs> Just go to a bar at some point on a Saturday night, and I'm sure I can find a dumb fucker to beat up. So. It's true. How long are we going? Is that is that accurate? This right up here, 28 minutes. Okay. Is that accurate from when we actually started? That's when we when I pressed the button. So we, I would say we, we pressed the button and we we rambled for a, like a minute and a half before things got. Right. Okay, I just didn't know because yeah. I. And not being a professional. I was going to, like, set a timer and shit. <laughs> like, I made all these plans. Like, we're going to... Next week, we should have a table here or something that I can go... Yeah, we can put stuff on. We can have, like, little things. And, and then just, we're... <laughs> we're... Yeah, I just didn't get anything done. I was also going to put up, like, posters and stuff. No, I don't... You know, it's the first episode, so, you know, well, it'll it'll grow. We'll episodes, you know. Like we'll a get tumor. Numbers. We'll get better at this, like telling better stories. And, you know, <laughs> not being know. so fucking dull. I don't know about. I don't know about getting better at it. So we're doing this event thing. Is oh, this? Yeah. So this is part of. So you're trying to get into shooting events. Well, no. As actually, like your no. company. Actually, no. The, the, my we're shooting an event, and that's something that the my the company that that uh, that I um, I guess I work for them, but it's my company. Um, we don't normally do events. What we're hoping to do is this will lead to other things, other more scripted stuff, and things that'll be a little bit more fun and, and more more profitable, more Wait, lucrative. Well, I, I don't see the I don't see the bridge here. It's for a it's for a company that wants to do more. Um, oh, so uh, you're doing a favor for yeah. uh, other yeah. production. Yeah, we we know a person who's involved with it. They they re recommended us to shoot the event. And we also, when we when we shot, when we bid on the event, we bid for a series of of instructional. Videos. Here's my here's so. here's my question. Yes. Why did you ask me to come and help? There are wildly more like we know tons more people that would. I was I the cheapest bid? No. Is that how I got it? <laughs> Truth be told, I'd rather hang out with Mikey than with other people. Your hand smells like bacon. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the wonderful thing about this is when we cut in like the sketch bits and stuff, because if I mean if you're watching the show, we've already cut in like yeah, a few like, times. Yeah, hopefully. The wonderful hopefully thing about this when when you cut in the bits and stuff, I can I can axe like the weird silent parts. Yeah. I was yep. just thinking about that. Yeah, we can we can cut in. I'm editing this. I'm yeah. long. I'm doing the long form edit on this. That's, and that's so exciting. He's going to do the long form edit. Well, we can't that's go take, too long that's because take... the computer will be fucking fogged <laughs> the fuck down. Explode. So I'm going to upgrade eventually, and I'll just give you mine when I upgrade. That way you have something better to edit on. No, you you give me too much stuff. Chad, literally, I, I ha everything it. I have right now. I think you. It's still mine. You just have it. I there. know, but <laughs> I I really don't expect the day when you're gonna show them and be like, bitch, give, give it. Give me my stuff. Give it. Everything's gone. I need it. <laughs> uh, Amy threw it all oh, out. Really Amy really got really rid of all of it. That's have. probably the most likely scenario. <laughs> you cleaned your basement. <laughs> I did. I'm, I mean, you cleaned I'm, your basement. I'm still cleaning. I haven't been down there. Here's the fucked up part about. Okay, I don't know if you guys are the same way, but um, no one's the same oh, way. Well, as this. well, I think with, us, with some stuff you do as you hoarding. get older, hoarding. You collect things. Hoarding. I don't call it hoarding because I don't really have an emotional attachment to it. Obviously, because I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff. You know the difference. But it just kind of just. Accumulates. What? Andrea was watching a thing about large scale hoard, the uh, large scale collectors, yeah. large scale, like people who've like taken up houses full of collections. And there were psychologists on that they literally felt in the edit was needed so that they could say the difference between hoarding and large scale collecting is organization. organization. <laughs> yeah, right. If yeah, if, it's, if if all if all the similar shit is in one place. <laughs> then it's collecting, I guess. All right. So does that mean our YouTube page is collecting stuff? Because <laughs> that's all sim dust. that's all similar shit. So we should wrap this up. How yeah, we, we how do we end the show? Well, I think we should end the show with um, a with words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Yeah. What have we learned this week? What have we learned this week? Right. We have learned. What have we learned this week? Treat wor uh, workplace professionals nice. Yes. Treat them as if you want, if as if you wanted to be. Let me try that again. Stuttering drunk bit, take two. Treat them. 
<laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> it's staying in. Treat them the way you want to be treated, people. If you want to be, if you want to be treated like a dick, if you want me to walk into your workplace and treat you like shit, I think actually we could probably make that happen. 